Hey everybody, welcome. Today we want to talk about why don't people like me? This is a question people ask often. Why doesn't he like me? Why doesn't she like me? Or they say things like, nobody at work likes me. How do you know? So today we're going to tune into some questions that you can ask yourself to see, is it in your head? Maybe people do like you more than you think, or what is the evidence that they don't like you? And so how can you start seeing the ways that you are connected or that you get to shift a little bit if you choose to create more connection in your life? First, let's run the show reel. <laughs> you can't be able to watch. So did you know that according to some statistics in 2021, more than 50% of men believe that they're not liked by others? And more than 80% of people overall have a level of low self-esteem. Now, this is really important to pay attention to because what makes us believe that we're not liked by others? So let's start here. When you look at the relationships where you believe people don't like you, first of all, how do you know they don't like you? Like really ask yourself this question deeply. I did a presentation for a group the other day and a woman said, yeah, I can tell that some of my clients don't like me. And I said, how do you know? And when she thought about it and she really tuned in, she realized that the ways that her clients were interacting with her that made her think they didn't like her could also be them being distracted or stressed out for the day could be them being in a rush and not taking the time to interact. Or it could be a variety of things, including some social awkwardness that she was interpreting as they don't like me because they're not talking to me freely. They're not laughing and smiling. They don't think I'm funny. They're not laughing at the jokes or the playfulness I have. When in actuality, some of these people just have a different sense of humor than she does. This is what our mind does, our unconscious mind. It makes up stories in order to help us feel protected or safe. But often it backfires on us because it actually makes us feel separated or alone. So how can you change this? Well, first, what is really going on? Like if you were standing behind a wall watching yourself interact with the clients or the person that you think doesn't like you, how are you interacting with them, first of all? What's your body language? Are you engaged and interested and curious about them? Or are you trying to tell them your whole life story and get really needy and get in their space and demand a lot of attention? That sometimes can make people pull away. If you're aggressive or demanding, sometimes people will pull away. If you're in a certain role, like for example, with this particular person I'm talking about, she was in a helping role. And so her role was to help the other people. But sometimes when they were coming in, they were stressed and they were looking for her for support and help, not necessarily to be super friendly back to her. Not that people were being mean, but you see the relationship itself demanded a certain role from each of them. She wanted a different role than what was being demanded. So there was some miscommunication. And the same thing happens in our home relationships, right? Someone doesn't take out the garbage and we make all this meaning about it. Like, oh, it must mean they don't care about me or they must think I'm the maid at the house. When really that's our brain, just saying that. It could be that our partner isn't aware. And that's a whole different story. Why aren't they aware? Maybe they have other reasons. And it doesn't mean that they care about you any less. Be selfless. Take responsibility for your actions. Show other people that you care. Reach out in a way that's really genuine and authentic. And then reevaluate and see if that changes not only your perspective, 
of how people like you. But if it change, but if it changes the perspective on how much you like yourself, because remember, what we believe about ourselves is often what we believe about other people. So remember, you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Have a good day.